Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be looking at the best Python IDE on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. These are features that will allow you to write, debug, and run Python programs, allowing you to create games, graphical user interfaces, and run Python scripts on your desktop or laptop. It goes without saying that all the IDE in this list support all Python modules or libraries like Pygame for game development, Django and Flask for web development, Tikinta for desktop graphical user interfaces, TensorFlow and PyTouch for machine learning, etc. We'll be ranking these IDE from 10 to 1 based on their proficiency with Python. So stick around to see the best Python IDE. The first IDE on this list is Python IDLE. You don't have to install this one because it comes with Python. It is simple to get started with Python using IDLE because there is zero setup required. When you launch it, the Python shell opens up. Here, the code you write runs immediately so you don't have to create and save a Python file. So this is ideal for testing. IDLE comes with a debugger, syntax highlighting, a stack viewer, and a few customization options. You can change the font, the key bindings, colors and add extensions for additional functionality. Python IDLE is perfect for beginners. It has all the features you need to get started with Python and there is zero setup required. The only reason this is on the 10th spot is because it is kind of basic for me. There's nothing wrong with basic but I prefer something a bit more sour. You know, something like the other entries on this list. Number 9 is Wing IDE. Wing IDE is a Python IDE developed by Wingware. It has been around for a while and they market it as a productive Python development environment. I've been testing it for the past few weeks and I'm able to report that it is not that bad. Its code editor has autocode completion, syntax highlighting, inline error detection, code quality analysis, and the overall layout of the code editor is beautiful. It allows you to use keyboard shortcuts from more popular IDE like Visual Studio, Eclipse and Emacs which is great because I don't have to learn new shortcuts but use the ones I already know. You can use it for web development with frameworks like Django, Flask, Web2Py, Pyramid, Google Game Engine etc. You can use it for animation and games using various Python based game engines like Python or use it to build desktop applications with PYQT, WXPython, Tikinta, and other UI frameworks. There is a pro version that promises more features but I've yet to check it out. Number 8 is Atom Code Editor. Atom is a free and open source code editor for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. It is developed by GitHub and owned by Microsoft. I know that Atom is being discontinued on December 15th but in the meantime we'll continue to use it. It comes with all the features you'd expect in a modern code editor. I'm talking syntax highlighting, code completion, customizable snippets, a bunch of customization options, github integration, etc. Try Atom IDE for yourself and tell me what you think about it in the comments down below. Number 7 is Thorny IDE. If I wanted to create a simple Python application, Using a graphical user interface framework like Tikinta, I'd use this IDE because it is perfect for a project like this. The simple and minimalistic GUI of this IDE encourages productivity without taking away useful features. Thorny IDE runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Download the latest version of their offline installer at www.thorny.org or use the command pip install thorny to install it using a terminal. Its code editor has syntax highlighting, spell checking, code completion, and a beautiful minimalistic design. It comes with a debugger, variable and function viewer, scope explainer, and a beginner friendly shell for testing. You can extend the functionality of this editor with third party plugins, but I don't think you'll need to because this has all the stuff you need to bring your projects to life. Now at number 6, we'll look at some online code editors. I always focus on native code editors in these videos because they are faster, more reliable, and more capable than web-based code editors. However, if you have a strong internet connection, you might want to use an online editor. An online editor will allow you to write Python code 
without any setup and when you are away from your computer using your smartphone. The online IDE I recommend you use is programnews.com. It supports multiple programming languages, an syntax highlighting, auto code completion, auto indent, a dark mode, and a Python shell for output. You can use their website or download their Android app from the Google Play Store. Another online Python code editor I use is W3Schools Python Editor. It has similar features to program news but contains an easy to follow step by step python course to get you started writing python code. Please like this video, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Number 4 is Eclipse IDE. Eclipse IDE is an open source IDE popular for its proficiency with Java but did you know that you can use it for python development as well? All you need to do is download the latest version of Eclipse IDE, then download an extension called PyDev. This will give you the ability to create and run Python programs using Eclipse IDE. PyDev gives you all the features of Eclipse IDE for Python, a console for output and a debugger, but you must download an interpreter for yourself by installing the latest version of Python. The code editor has syntax highlighting, autocode completion, spell checking, auto indent and other features. I use Eclipse primarily for Java development, but using the PyDev plugin allows me to use Python while taking full advantage of all the features Eclipse has to offer. And on number 3, we have Sublime Text. Sublime Text is a cross-platform code editor that supports many programming and markup languages. It is one of the most popular code editors and has some innovative features. It has syntax highlighting for most programming and markup languages including Python. AI code completion, a beautiful user interface with a lot of themes and color schemes, a native support for Apple Silicon processor, and ARM64 allowing you to run it on devices like the Raspberry Pi. Number 2 is Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is the OG code editor developed by Microsoft. Since this one is developed by Microsoft, you can expect to see awesome features and seamless integration to Microsoft services. Since this one is developed by Microsoft, you can expect to see some awesome features and seamless integration to Microsoft services like Microsoft Azure, the cloud computing service for building, testing, deploying and managing applications, and GitHub. VS Code has syntax highlighting, IntelliSense for smart code completion, built-in GitHub integration, and an awesome UI with a lot of customization options. After installing it, you will need to download plugins that will allow you to run Python code. This Python pack here includes a Python debugger, live share, PyLens, and a bunch of Python packages. VS Code is by far the best collection of plugins you can download to extend its functionality and improve your coding experience with it. And most of these plugins are from Microsoft themselves, so they are reliable. VS Code is my primary code editor, but I don't think it is the best Python code editor. The best Python code editor is the next app on this list for multiple reasons. And at number one, we've got the best Python code editor, which is PyCharm. VS Code is an awesome code editor, but I think PyCharm is better because it is a Python code editor. All the features you get in PyCharm are Python centric because the app is designed specifically for Python development. You can see this from its UI. You have the main window with the code editor on the top and the output at the bottom of the screen with a console, debugger and a terminal. You get features like intelligent Python assistance via smart code completion, code inspection and error highlighting, web development framework support, scientific tools including NumPy remote development capabilities and some built-in developer tools like test runner, terminal and database tools. You will need good hardware to run PyCharm but it is worth it. For more computer sciences, technology and coding videos hit the subscribe button and like this video to help me reach more developers. Thanks for watching, have a good one.